That's why I can't go to sleep. Go to I sleep. covered up by the receipts. I'm copping the drip overseas. I like when she get on her knees. I'm rocking these V-Long jeans. I need me a fat ass to squeeze. I promise. It's your boy Rose. And you're watching Zeus TV. Today we'll be doing a reaction on um Alex 95915. Him and his girl had like a breakup. They went through that little breakup phase and stuff. And basically he made a video about them getting back together and stuff and like how much he loves her and stuff. Let's get right into it though. So right. <laughs> Shit. Why I even broke up anyways? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, yeah. But you can't hear me because I want I want it to be a surprise for you. Yeah, it will be. Uh okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna start this video. I didn't even expect for me to even make this video. But um, as you guys can see in my face, I'm very happy from the last breakup video that we did. Um, you guys can see in the title, you guys can honestly see in the title, this, this crap is not clickbait or nothing like that, but um, I would be explaining everything, okay? Because um, I know a lot of you guys are like, bro, I don't like this back and forth going on stuff, but we do yeah, have good like news. So um, you guys just listen, hear me out, and um, there won't be any more back and forth, sometimes it's you know, kind of stuff. What I want to inform you guys on is that, um, first of all, you guys already know this, every relationship is not perfect, okay? I'll be explaining every single thing of the backstory to um, where my thoughts are now. So you guys listen up, I'm gonna try to sum it up. I'm already looking at the time and seeing how much I'm recording, so let's get straight into it. Me and Madison both made breakup videos because we seriously thought we weren't getting back together, like dead ass. The whole Alex and Madison thing, boom, it, it was done. We, we truly thought that. She came out with a video first. I came out my, my, with my response, you feel me? So, after those videos, we had a good, like, say, week to two weeks of not talking, okay? Prior to that, y'all, we weren't talking still. So, we had a good amount of time of not talking. Through that time, I was, um, I was definitely thinking about her. I was, um... I was I really going you, crazy. I, I, I'm not going to front. I was doing things out of my character. That, that wasn't like me just to see if I can get over her and um, you know what all that stuff did not work I tried going to the gym. Okay. I tried getting her jealous on social media. We ain't gonna even expose yeah, myself work, Okay, but just know um, all that stuff were, were mistakes and They didn't mean anything now getting on a positive side. Okay. Um, we had our space blah 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 I I realized like I, I love this girl. I realized I love Madison. I realized um I cannot live a day without without her. And it's so Dude, funny because right, like she can't hear me. I'm on the phone with her right now making this video, but she can't hear me, okay? I told her to, to react to this video just so she can see how I truly feel about her. But um Madison doesn't know how happy I am that um she even accepted my offer, okay? So let me let me tell y'all the story. One night I was on Twitter and I was, you know, in my fields. I was thinking about Madison. I was just like, bro, I can't do this any longer. I don't know what she has been doing in her life, but I cannot do this any longer. So what I tweeted, I need to check back to see what I tweeted the other night. Y'all follow me on my Twitter, Alex Simon 5 Official, because I'll be, I be spilling the tea out on my, on my Twitter. Okay, so four nights ago, I tweeted saying, I have a deep confession should I tell y'all? This crap got 90, 98 likes, and my Twitter ain't that booming, okay? I tweeted that, that, 98 people liked it, 13 up. people replied saying, yes, go for it, do it, people please, you need to know. I don't say I waited like a good three hours to tweet my next tweet, you know, to make sure I was, I was serious, but then um, three, four hours later, y'all, I tweet my confession. What my confession was, my love is real, I believe I should never give up on you. I said, I can't go any longer without you, Colombiana Emmy. I love you and I miss you. 
That was straight from the heart, okay? Because honestly, I had so much time to think about Madison and what she was doing in her life. So that's the main reason why I was just like, girl, I like, we, we, we need to be together. So when I tweeted that, I didn't know she was going to respond at all. I didn't know anything. I didn't know she, she was willing to talk to me. I don't know if she met another guy. I had no clue. All I know is that I was just trying to reach out to her. So when I did that, you know, people tagged her, people did certain things. People were giving me a lot of love. And I, I just want to thank everyone that follows my Twitter and they were supporting me because I got a, a crazy amount of DMs saying, yo, get your girl back. I'm so happy for this. I've been waiting I mean, for this. It made me feel girl, so man. good. It just, it really did. Damn. We get into the good part, okay? When I tweeted that, Madison literally replied saying, please call me, okay? I didn't see it until the next day after. So um, I called her the next day after and uh, we talked a bit. I, I, we explained ourselves. We even said all our wrongs. So she came to me saying, okay, I did this while we were broken up, blah, blah, blah. I, I did the same thing. We did things that, once again, that we weren't proud of or happy about, but all that stuff does not matter, okay? Because at the end of the day, we realized that, damn, like, we still, like, we're thinking about each other, we still love each other. So, um, I don't wanna, you know, talk too much anymore, okay? Getting to the point. Um, I reached out to Madison, she accepted me. She said, yes, I would love to get back together and um, let's work things out, let's do things right. After that, um, everything was pretty good. Me and Madison did go, go through some drama behind the scenes like just recently, but we're not gonna get into that. Me and Madison literally flattened everything out. We, we're good, me and Madison are good. But the main point that I wanna get across you to gotta you guys work is it that, out your um, me and Madison are trying things out and I just wanna let you know, Madison, cause I know you'll be watching this video. I wanna let you know that I'm here to stay. I'm not here to play games with you. I'm not here to entertain any females oh, whatsoever. I told you about my dream. I said, I have a dream about you. I, I, I want kids. I want a future. I want to oh, be yeah. that YouTube ace family. I want to do things right and maturely. I want us to be on the same page. You want money? I want money. You want a family? I want a family. You want to get married? I want to get married. What? is the big deal with couples arguing about little ass shit. I told Madison, arguing there's about going to be none of that. I'm gonna stop it. Even if Sometimes you want to argue about it. something stupid, I'm gonna say no. We're better than that. We have bigger goals. I told Madison that I wanna be with her for the rest of my life. That's my dream. And I'm gonna try to work, I'm, I'm gonna try to fight for that. That's just some real shit. Even through this breakup, I was, I was thinking about her. That being said, um, Madison, I have a message to tell you. I don't wanna go back and forth. I know we're going to have problems. I know I'm signing up for future problems, future arguments. That's absolutely fine. Cause you know why? I'm gonna be right here, baby. I'm gonna be right here supporting you, saying, look, I know we're arguing right now, but we can get through this. Let's handle this shit maturely, everything like that. When you love somebody and you see a future with them, you have to fight for it. We don't do, give up, don't be really immature. Do don't be like, well, Even that's too much work. Fight. These arguments are too stressful. I'm gonna leave. That's what I did. And I'm not going to do that. That's very immature, that's childish. And I need to become stronger. I need to be a stronger man, you feel me? From here on out, y'all, love is unconditional. I repeat, love is unconditional. If you love somebody, don't give a fuck about what other people are saying. I don't give two fucks what my family thinks, what Madison's friends think. I don't care 1% of what people think about me and Madison and what we should do with our relationship. Because at the end of the day, I know what I want to do. I know I want to start a family with Madison. I know I want Madison just as a whole freaking person. Madison is my first and best relationship I've ever had. I and um, I need to embrace that. I can't let something slip this good out of my hands, you feel me? Madison knows what she needs to change and vice versa. I know what I need to change in order for us to work. I'm coming up on here publicly just to, just to honestly give you guys the truth. I see me and Madison having a big, bright future together, and I want that. Now, um, for all the naysayers, all the, all the haters, y'all can honestly suck my fucking <laughs> Madison, um, for you, my message is um, I'm here to stay, baby girl. Um, you don't have to worry about a damn thing. You won't have to worry about me entertaining any freaking females. I'm making that clear online. Where I do want to leave off is me and Madison both know what we need to change. We both know we are signing up for some more problems, some more arguments, blah, blah. But we both agree that we will fight through the problems. That's the main thing that we did not do. We didn't That's fight what you through the do problems. Though. We, we were very shallow. We were just like, oh, fuck. Then we need to break up <laughs> because things got hard. No, that's not what love is about. 
Exactly. Love is about fighting through the hard problems, okay? So fighting that's what me and problems. Madison agreed to, and I'm so excited to get this journey started with Madison because Madison is the love of my life. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm, I, I don't know what to no say. I, I just personally want to let y'all know I love you guys so much. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys that support me and in, in, in whatever I do. So if you guys could do me the biggest favor right now, can you guys please just show me your support? I'm just being genuine, I'm being honest. Can you guys please go to my Instagram, go to my Twitter, go to my Snapchat, go to every social media of mine and say I got your support. Comment down below right now. You have my support, Alex. But other than that, you guys give a like on this video just, just to show me your support on me and Madison. If you guys like that me and Madison are back together, please kill the like button, okay? Other than that, y'all, I'm up out of this video. I'm signing out. Um, you guys stay lit, stay motivated, stay happy, and um, fight through the hard problems. I love y'all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Anyways. That was a good ass video, I ain't gonna front. But um what he said was real, um, fighting through like problems and shit. That's real love. Um unconditionally and everything. Um shit, why my voice sound like that? <laughs> but yeah, this is the end of the video. Yo. If you made it through, like, comment, share, subscribe. One thing I forgot, um, if you guys want to watch the full video or subscribe to him, link will be in the description. But with all, we out. Look, I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody else that's doing this. Body start to drop.